what's going on today guys beautiful sunny spring day out today as you can tell from the light just beaming me in the face today we are walking around hunting for wildflowers springtime is such a beautiful time because of the wildflowers and during spring i always try to go around and hunt for wildflowers so that's what i'm out doing today and if we find some wildflowers i wanted to share with you guys some tips that i use when i'm photographing my wildflowers under sunny harsh conditions like this because you got to understand that the best days to shoot or best conditions to shoot wildflowers is actually overcast days or days where you kind of have a natural diffuser in the sky to help balance that harsh light so i have this trick that i use to get around that harsh light when i'm photographing on sunny days like today and i wanted to share that tip with you guys it's super easy um, it's extremely affordable it's extremely light so uh, let's explore around a little bit see if we can find some wildflowers and uh, i'll share with you guys this trick that i'm talking about walked around, I couldn't find anything, I slowly started to get discouraged. Oh no, what if I can't find anything? But then right along this beautiful natural stream that's running through this forest, right at this kind of intersection or bypass, there's this beautiful little patch of trout lilies. Trout lilies are uh, kind of the early risers here in New Brunswick. They're quite common and they're found in, in kind of wet damp areas like this where the stream is. And, so anyways, I'm really excited to get some photos of these, but as you guys can tell, the light is so harsh. So this is where I kind of adopt this, this trick that I'm going to share with you guys here shortly. So uh, let's get set up and uh, try to get some really nice photos, really good composition to show off these flowers. And uh, I'll share with you guys that trick that I'm talking about. Okay, so the tip I wanted to share with you guys today is actually bringing some sort of diffuser into the field with you. I know it sounds super simple, but it'll surprise you how many photographers don't do this. When you have just a shower curtain or some sort of translucent material, it's super lightweight and it's super cheap too, so you can easily just throw it in your bag and take it with you. And on bright sunny days like today, you find your wildflower, you, you kind of find your composition, and then it's just a game of trying to find different limbs or different things to attach the softbox onto to help give that diffusion of light. So I'll bring my sheet of uh, diffusion or whatever I'm using, shower curtain, and uh, also bring with me some uh, clothesline pins or chip bag pins, any sort of pin that Again, it's super lightweight and cheap. I throw that in the bag as well. And then I'll just use those to clip it to some sort of limb or some sort of branch, whatever works for the situation. And to be honest with you, that's kind of the biggest challenge with using this tactic is just getting diffuser set up in a place that works for your composition and works for your wildflower. But luckily today where I'm set up, there's some branches behind me and I can easily just drape the cloth up behind it and uh, get that layer diffusion. So super easy, simple tip, but so effective on sunny days like today where you're out and you're exploring and you wanna get some good quality photos, but the light is just too harsh. You can easily just pull a shower curtain or any of these bad boys out, some sort of uh, soft box that you kind of create yourself with uh, the natural limbs and material that you have with you. you guys are photographing wildflowers under sunny harsh conditions be sure to utilize this uh, trick and these tools to help you get better photographs you need to have that subdued diffused light 
to help balance out the light on details on wildflowers. So this is a really good trick. You're gonna wanna get a couple different materials that have different translucent values. You wanna have some that are more opaque. So if it's really sunny, you can kind of block out that light. Or if it's not too sunny, you wanna have materials that are a little bit more translucent. I'll go ahead and I'll link some materials in the description and be sure to check those out. Thanks again so much guys for tuning in the video. I really hope you guys learned something today and I hope you guys utilize these tools and tricks when you're out photographing wildflowers on a sunny day. If you guys want to learn how to become better at landscape photographers, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free for you to do. And if you do, be sure to hit the bell for notifications. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go continue hunting for wildflowers, I guess. I'll see you guys in that next video.